the rest house is there and this is the place of Lumsuba meaning white stone Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. I am still at Pukungri village. Today I am going to move up from here. Actually, I am very very thankful to my host, that is Anka and Auntie. Thank you very much. Thank you very thank much. You thank, very much. You, thank, you, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. blessing, oh, thank you. They had welcomed me a lot and they are so kind. And they are so like okay. generously like provide me food and all so. It's no, nothing, yeah. It's no problem. 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 It's this is the bus which is going to Meluri from Pukungri to Meluri. So now I'm going to take this bus till Zipu. Driver, <laughs> 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 Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this year, I'll subscribe. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Oh, I thought it was the only one. Oh, it's a very good thing. I'm going to go to the next one. People are taking risks right now. <laughs> I know we reach Zipu. Bye. 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 Okay. So finally I've reached Zipu and I have to wait for one friend. Let's see, I'll call him up. Bye. 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 You did brother. You did brother. So I reached Zipu village and I was I rested there for a while. We had lots of discussion and now we are down below the village area. We are going to a beautiful place called Lumsaba, which is in their dialect. It means white stone. Lum means stone and Saba means white. So we are going to a place where there is only white stone. We are going on that way and he is brother Ismail. Hello brother. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you for inviting me in your village. What is your name? Come here. Don't feel shy. Don't hide. Come here. Come here. What is your name? Huh? Rowe. Rowe. Nice meeting you. Yes, thank you very much. This is a rest camp. Rest camp, no? Okay, so uh, when the tourists come, they will rest yeah. over here. Okay. When they come, uh -huh. they, they rest here. Okay. And visit this place. Visit this place, no? So right now, I am at Limsaba, a place called Whitestone. Zipu village is up there, and we came down over here, as you can see from the video. There is a rest house. And can you imagine in Nagaland, can you see this kind of place? The stones are kept like an artificial site. Wow. Beautiful, yeah? I can't believe that this kind of place exists in Nagaland also. So these are the stones which are uniquely placed 
unbelievable this a uh, peak type I will go up here look at the designs wow so this Lim Lim Sabah, this place as brother was saying brother Ismail is down there over there right now he said that before when they were like trying to do jhum cultivation and cutting down the forest only at that time it was discovered maybe during their father's time and only then they uh, when they found the stones are white actually very very white and they were surprised to see that so they cut the trees so that the visibility will be better and people can have a view of the stone but slowly maybe due to climate change due to acid rain and all the stone is turning into black so these days the stone is not very white as you can see there are some blackish color that's why the villagers have decided not to cut down the new trees which are growing so that they will protect the stone and the stone may turn into white again like before so that's a little bit of history down there they said there is a cave just below the stone but we have to go around the jungle and enter the cave so we are not going there right now can you see one mountain peak over there that is called elephant mountain and that is Zipuhu. Zipuhu means Zipu is the village name and Hu means mountain. So that mountain is famous. Before the Zipu village is up there during ancient time. Not ancient but before long ago. But nowadays they shifted to this side. I will go even up to the village and show you the village area. Wow. And people are burning the jungle because of jhum cultivation. Right now the season is to cut the jungle. Clear the jungle for jhum cultivation. Wow. Just but just have a look of the stones here. Yeah? Wow. These are all naturals. Not a single stone is placed by men. These are all natural. When you are coming over here, be very very careful. The stones are very sharp. If you slide your leg, your leg will be broken, even you will fall down. There are so many, yeah. But the fact is, only in this area, these stones are available. You will not find in any other nearby area or in any other place also. What a unique place, yeah. Yeah. See the designs also. Wow, these are so unique. Yeah, wow. see, the designs are so unique. Wow, there is a huge stone down there, and look at this design. How the place looks like. So, dear viewers, please do come and visit this beautiful place and and uh, explore the environment, explore these stones, and explore the beauty of these natural stones. This is a Zipu village, which is 
uh, under Peck District Mallory Subdivision. So please do come. When you are going to Shiloh Lake, you will find these stones just be before that. So please do visit this place. You are most welcome by the villagers also. So now we are going ahead to the village side. So behind me you can see the stones. So beautiful. Okay, I'll reach the village and I'll start shooting the video from there again. Anyhow, it's a beautiful place. Please do visit. Now you can see the beautiful flower pots, right? So now let's have a discussion with the maker. Hello, brother. Hello. Uh, so what is your name? My name is Johnny. Johnny. Okay, can you please explain how you have made this flower pot? It looks so unique and so beautiful. Mix. Okay. Oh, oh, basically you mean to say that first you will prepare the cloth or you will put that into a cement water cement no with cement and then after it is a little bit dry you will again make a double coat and let it dry okay so do you polish like with sandpaper last day sandpaper okay so you will make it smooth all right and then after that you will do the okay so the color will be like this like this oh you have colored no okay 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 fine 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 all right all right so how did you uh, get this idea this is just from your own or you have learned from somebody else? YouTube para. Oh, okay, that's great. People are learning so many things from YouTube and you're also one of them. Very happy to know that. And can you please explain about that pot? It will be up banana, right? white cement banana. White cement banana. It's different. Okay, okay. The process is different. Okay. The process is different. Balloon. Balloon, uh -huh. balloon, yes. Balloon, balloon, bro. Do tala shape panna boy do. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Balloon ne bro pholai dibo. Ah, ah. Bise the do bahade do kapra bro lagi na. Ah. Taiki wrap kuru boy. Wrap kuru boy. Ah. Aro itu lapo de. Apni do dalu white cement dalu waro. Do bise the do white cement hali lagi na. Do bise the. Okay. Suka bise the do balloon ke do burst kuru boy. Burst kuru boy. Na usule ta form dia jai na. Ah, ah. Do bise the aro bitro de aro aro. Okay. Coating aro. <coughs> wow, such a good idea, yeah. All the viewers, if you are a female, please do watch the video and learn from him, yeah. He being a man, such an interesting design he could create, and I'm really, really impressed with this. Do you sell these flowers, flower pot also? <laughs> Even with flower or without flower? With flower, lobo gulay do price alag ubo aro. Oh, without flower, another price. Oh, okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. So, dear viewers, if you are interested in this kind of beautiful flower pots, and even if you are interested with these beautiful flowers, I'm sorry, I don't know the name. Please contact the owner. The number is given in the description. And he is from Zipu Village. As you as you know, I am at Zipu Village right now. But see, yeah, such a beautiful ideas and beautiful designs he have made. Wow. All right. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cute little brother. Hello, brother. What is your name? My name is Rowe. Rowe. And your name? My name is Yanisa. Yanisa. Okay. Look here. Smile here. I'll take one photo. Okay. Smile. Look here. Thank you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Brother is my relative house and this is how he, he have prepared the flower pots and set the flower pots. Anyhow, now let's go and have some discussion who are inside the kitchen. Yeah, Salman Khan is there. <laughs> Hello, brother. <laughs> he is his relative. Brother Johnny, right? Right? Yeah, all right. So, hello. <laughs> and here is one sister. 
Hello. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you all. Aru, here is brother uh, Ismail's sister. Hello. Yeah. Thank you all. Yeah. Thank you all. And this is how the Naga kitchen looks like at Zipu village. So beautiful. Yeah. Very, very beautiful. And even the Salman Khan is looking handsome. This is what I have been experiencing when I'm traveling in all the villages of Nagaland. You will get good hospitality. People are very generous. The only thing is, if you reach a village, please do take a permission from the responsible person and be genuine about who you are. Never make a fake personality and roam around. I will suggest that one. So thank you, Brother Ismail Reality, for preparing this delicious food. And this is egg, cabbage, rice, meat, and... Uh, tomato pickle. So now I will have this food. All right After having the food we just came up In front of this church. This is called United Pentecostal Church at Jipu and from here actually the view is good Yeah, but the weather is clear the definitely the view will be very much good Yeah, but at present due to foggy type nothing is possible to view Anyhow, this is the top view of Zip Zipu and That is elephant mountain And due to gym cultivation people are burning fire you can have a look of the village. So that is Elephant Mountain. That is Jipu Mountain. And these are the villages. Jipu Village House. Not villages. Jipu Village Houses. And there is the ground. Jipu Ground. So we will go back to our house again. To my house house. So this little boy is guiding me. What is your name? Rowe. Rowe. I am forgetting. Yeah, I asked him multiple times. But still I'm forgetting. So, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye. Say bye.